We'd also be just recording this, uh, just so that in case people want to have any reference, they would be able to. Uh, there are more registrations, but we'll see if they join in a bit later. Right. Uh, thank you for, first of all, your interest in MP Nippon professionals. Um, it is something that uh, interests and excites us a lot. And uh, we wondered how and what uh, your questions could be. And we have, uh, you know, we do have a kind of deck for you all to look at and then see how you want to uh, take that forward and what you understand of it from the collaterals and everything else. So we will be sharing, um, my, I'll be sharing the screen and then we can look through what very quickly what MP Nippon professions are, but then the floor is yours to tell us what you have as questions, queries for us to work through. Right. Um, I have with me, I'm Anusha, sorry, I forgot to start introducing. I'm Anusha Ramanathan, uh, and I work with the Center of Ex With me is, uh, sorry, you're now? I think some of you could not hear. All right. Uh, lead faculty for this project, uh, Dr. Arindam Bose, uh, Associate Professor at the Center of Excellence in Teacher Education at Data Center Social Science. So, Arindam, um, if you would like to welcome and say a few words on this while I share the screen. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Anusha. I hope I'm audible and uh, thank you for those who have joined and have shown interest and probably you can also share this information quite unique uh, in the education landscape of India and uh, <clears throat> and the application deadline is quite soon rather uh, this coming Sunday 21st of May and we have this uh, deck ready for you we'll run this through and then uh, we will actually have a longer you know time for your questions your q a and so on and try to seek or give some clarifications if required anusha and i are co-anchoring this project with support from our colleagues such as mad vijay and others on from the TIS side and from the bhopal end from the madhya pradesh end there is rajya shiksha kendra rsk as, as well as Central Square Foundation. So we are a sort of knowledge partner of this entire project, which the government of uh, Madhya Pradesh is running. And, uh, and that is the that is what uh, brings us here on this platform. And that is also the capacity in which we are uh, into this project from this side. And this is basically a knowledge partner in this. Uh, I think that's enough, uh, Nusha, for now. Mm -hmm. We'll start here. Yes. Yeah, we'll yeah, start. Sure. So uh, I'll just quickly run you through the presentations and then all of us and some from the Education Alliance, which is also another partner of the Project Management Unit in Gopal. And... Um, uh, you know, with uh, Central Square Foundation are also part of it and they may also chip in to answer your queries. Um, this is a very unique opportunity. Is It is a collaboration of um, NGOs and social development sector and academic institution or government organizations. So it could be that uh, we look at it, it would be wonderful for you all to type in um, into the chat uh, which course and graduation year you are from and which campus you belong to. And there's something that we did in the earlier round as well, but it would help us to also understand and build um, what, um, you know, your profiles look like and how they match to the, to the basic job description that we have. So it would be wonderful to hear from you and you could be typing and into the chat. So um, good evening to you all and let's start by introducing ourselves as um, as we proceed and as you're typing in we will just tell you a little bit about what we're going to do today 
we will introduce, of course, for you the Madhya Pradesh Nippon Professionals Program. But we'll also be, yes. Is there someone who is wanting to talk? Yeah, I'm just going to mute you, Mahi, because we couldn't hear you. But we also have recruitment process and timelines. We will want to hear from what are the voices. And we had another uh, session earlier where you can also watch it on YouTube. That was there where the RSK uh, Rajesh Shiksha Kendra in Madhya Pradesh had a representative, uh, the, you know, the additional mission director coming in and talking to us. So definitely you can even go back and visit those. Today, we are going to start off with some things as to why we started with this project. Uh, we have the national education policy um, and it is considered as one of the most important national priorities. And we can work more on this a bit later. We do have a question in the videos SOP that talks about how you understand foundational literacy and numeracy to be and why you think it is relevant. But primarily the fact that students need to learn and have basic competencies built. And there is a particular grade level. If you go on to the uh, government sites, they will tell you what are these grade levels that come in and how they need to be built in, right? So you could be focusing on, thank you. Uh, so uh, you could be looking at how it has become a very urgent requirement and a necessary address out here with the uh, element that many students may go to school but still don't seem to learn enough and adequately. Uh, they don't seem to have grade level proficiency. So Madhya Pradesh government therefore launched Mission Ankur in 2021 as a statewide mission, but this is really a story of nation building that really comes in. And it is focusing on grades one to three. They may expand it to four and five later, but it is something that expands to these elements. And the impact that is being felt is about 23 lakh students in the two years. 1.8 lakh teachers and about 80,000 schools. Well, actually 92,000 if you count some peripherals as well, but 80,000 definitely directly impacted. And the idea is that we all come together as professionals, the 52 professionals who will be there to be able to understand and how very clearly interpret the learning goals set. There have been already materials prepared and there are um, you know, uh, there is already something that has gone onto the field. So you will also have to understand some of those dynamics and uh, then build your professional uh, intervention in that sense. But we would want to focus on energizing, equipping the teachers with tools. Um, the implementation of Mission Ankur itself is that there must be a mission mode there that everyone gets, you know, excited by and energized by and works towards so that there is a holistic approach in not only understanding academic, but also governance and uh, ensuring that learning outcomes are met at academic and holistic level standards. There are already TLMs that have been developed. There is um, teacher guides, student workbooks and supplementary materials. And you can go to the website and check out how much of work has already occurred of course, you can see here uh, uh, that we have, uh, you know, Room to Read has developed materials in Hindi for um, learning the subject Hindi. And we have Vikram Sheila that will be anchoring the math uh, numeracy comp uh, competence that will come in. There are other textbooks and workbooks that are already there in uh, Madhya Pradesh for also environmental studies and for uh, English. And again, there are different players and Raja Shiksha Kendra uh, the, is the center hub of all these activities that are going on to improve these TLMs and materials, teacher teaching learning materials and guides. So it is already some of it has rolled out, some of it will roll out it is going grade wise, grade one, grade two, grade three. Uh, ideally, there is a lot in terms of the 90,000 FLN teachers who have already, in a sense, uh, you know, need to be trained. And there, there is this part of 
as and I'm just going to go back to the previous slide for you to look at, it is about 1.8 lakh teachers that are supposed to be impacted. And what you have is that there is a structured professional development that is planned for 90K FLN teachers, and it has already been established. There has been a total things in terms of a round one, uh, in terms of phase one, where two rounds were there and uh, teachers were trained, around 91K teachers were trained. And you have a cadre of master trainers. There are uh, quite a few digital courses. If you go to the Diksha platform also, you will see some of these courses that are used to understand how these are. And there's going to be more that is coming up in the state. Um, and basically two digital courses were launched in 2022, 23, and averagely teachers have completed it uh, around a 82% completion rate, which is pretty good. And then there is also activity to try and understand how teachers can facilitate foundational literacy and numeracy. What do they understand by it? And there are these kinds of meetings and conferences, and this is part of the professional development activities that have taken place. And they've already found that there is about 14% improvement that has been reported and felt in the state for the last year. Going forward, there is a need to supplement all of these initiatives to understand how to bring about processes of monitoring and support. It is not really monitoring as much as mentoring. It is not really, uh, you know, going there and judging them and writing a report of good or bad, but it is about trying to see what can facilitate their uh, implementation of great activities that center around foundational literacy and numeracy. And continuously trying to provide the support academic and administrative to schools and teachers through supervision visits. Uh, the idea is that students will need to improve levels. A SIR report says that, and if you have read it, would have already presented a very bleak picture of literacy and numeracy levels. We could debate on how these get um, what, what is meant by literacy and numeracy, but the fact is that students don't seem to have built-in competencies adequately, and only about 40% students achieve around numeracy levels that are expected of them in grades one to three. Um, by grade three, around only 56% have any kind of grade level proficiency in reading and literacy and by grade three. And this is based on a lot of other data that really comes in. So in order to strengthen the initiatives, this program has been facilitated and conceptualized so that you all can come in and enter and understand how to work with the district collector with the Zilla Panchayat office, with the um, block officers, with schools, with teachers, with the district education team overall, to try and ensure that Mission Ankur really succeeds. It means that we would want someone who is not just interested in looking at what is at the policy level, but also is able to understand what is the nuances that are required in the district level and also then go ahead to understand the governance challenges because there may be administrative requirements and there may be other aspects and go on to talk about also what is happening in the school level. At the school level, where is the teacher? What is happening in the classroom? What is happening in the students? Thinking, how can we enthuse the system and infuse it with new energy and vigor so that we can really build a nation of talented, educated, curious minds that have all the tools at hand to improve themselves, their lives, and the lives around them and build the nation. So we would like that that is the idea of this professional development. It has some governance features and it has some understanding of education also as a requirement, not as your degree, but more your interest and passion and your willingness to learn more about it. The selected Nippon professionals will accelerate the mission and they will, uh, that is implemented. And there are certain kinds of elements that you will do. There is execute interventions that are coming across, 
where you will diagnose problems which are at the implementation level, as I was saying earlier, build the capacity of key functionaries. If you think that there needs to be a reinforcement of messaging, that the messaging needs to be changed, you know, the way we present information, it's not supposed to be textual, it's infographics, whatever it is that requires a kind of troubleshooting support to be able to identify it, ideate about it, talk to all these colleagues. We are building a community of professionals and you will have mentoring support from the team, the project management unit that is located in Bhopal and will have support from people in TIS Mumbai campus at the Rajya Shiksha Kendra uh, in Bhopal as well, and the team that is a project management team made of these wonderful collaborators that come together, you know, people from CSF, from Education Alliance, from Room to Read, Vikram Sheila, et cetera. So you will have these elements that come together. And ultimately, we are trying to ensure that whatever we achieve, it is data-based, it's data-backed, there is evidence for what we are saying, what we are doing, so that there can be informed decisions and there will be regular review meetings so that accountability is improved. This doesn't mean that it is just a routinized checklist matter, but that you can come up with cases, examples, stories of what works and what does not work and how we can make it work. A typical week will look like you thinking about action planning, coming up with timelines, reviewing and monitoring and attending different meetings that do occur, enabling execution decisions, understanding a concept note, going into the field, trying to understand that in order to develop your concept note, reading a little bit about uh, the project itself or ideas that can help solve the problem, building capacity, conducting small group meetings at both, as we said, the block level, the district level, and sometimes even perhaps take a couple of schools and see how that could work. And micro trainings, creating those capacity building processes, being able to document it and bring it back, streamlining processes, ensuring that there is someone who can go come back and follow your pathway. And then looking at field consultations, where you're looking at school visits, interviews, mentoring practices that you have at the schools to see how FLM really gets executed. What do you need to be in order to apply is 32 years of age uh, as of July 31st, 2023, provided that you are an, a citizen of India. You must have at least an undergraduate degree from a recognized university and have about 55% grades or a CGPA, which is equivalent and at least nine months of work experience. This allows for those of you who are freshers from um, graduation, who have done just a fellowship perhaps of nine months to also apply. We do want you to have full-time experience. So part-time while you're working in a college will not suffice, but yes, you must have these minimum criteria of, um, you know, nine months full-time work with post-graduation degree or 18 months of full-time work with uh, undergraduate degree. You do not in post-graduation have to necessarily have completed a degree because there may be two-year diplomas and so on and so forth. So we just kept it as post-graduate and not necessarily qualified it with saying degree or diploma. What will you gain? You will gain uh, the fact that you are building a nation. You are um, signing on to ensure that India reaches the goal set for it by 2030 to ensure all these sustainable development goals, but focused on SDG 4 of education that comes in. You will create an impact in the lives of multiple students across the nation, but also help them create a nation for us that will be prosperous and create a world that is better, hopefully. You will understand how governance works with uh, at district level. And because you will be tied with the state level machinery with the project management unit, you will also understand how it gets negotiated at the state level. You will 
understand how information flows in and out of these channels and corridors. And this across the development sector is a very useful knowledge to gain. You will have a curated journey of courses and you know, experiences which could involve seminars, webinars conducted by all of us as a team and have certificate courses that TIS will you know, uh, definitely be offering you all to do. Um, and no, you don't have to pay for them. Uh, and you will be ensuring that all of this is while you also get paid, but it is 80,000 rupees a month, uh, inclusive of all uh, facilities like TA, HRA, and so on. You will have a complete, continuous, structured, rigorous professional journey. It is not, it is a fellowship, it is work you will have rigorous work. There will be a program induction once you are joining in on 1st of August, hopefully. You will have a seven day residential orientation to what is this entire program about, what you particularly will have to do, and what is the government structuring, functioning, et cetera, in much more detail than what we're getting into right now. You will be engaged through these processes in every month through learning circles. Uh, there will be small group peer learning interactions. We will ensure that district wise and you know, around 52, we can just divide it so that you have a community that brings in. So there's a wider community, but there could also be communities that are smaller ones amongst yourself that structure and you will have mentoring on that you know, for those 10 to 12, 15 uh, professionals in the group there will be that. There'll be quarterly field visits uh, that you know, will be conducted along with the program team and the Nippon professionals to understand and get feedback and support. There will be forums and yearly reviews. Forums are quarterly, reviews are yearly, annual. And these are in-person reflections and workshops that you will have in terms of understanding where we are moving, what we are doing, what is the future work plan going to look like in the next quarter or the next year? On the job guidance is almost all the time available. You will have weekly and monthly check-ins and there are very clearly defined key performance indicators that you will be adhered to. But that also means that if you have a problem, get out, reach out to your line of command and there is a line of command that will be explained, but you can ask them for support. And there are certified courses which will be online and they will be through the two years that we will ensure that you get some credits for having understood these problems and concepts around education and fun, learn literacy, numeracy, and you know what governance and education system in India and abroad looks like. You should apply <laughs> if you're passionate, if you are someone who believes in quality education and you are a go-getter. So I'm not going to get into this. I'm hoping that you already are all of these and therefore you are coming into this program and there, that's why you're here. And in terms of the process timelines, I'm just going to very quickly run it because we are very near, as Arindam was saying, by the 21st of May is the last date for application. Uh, so you will apply on the website. There are basic details, a CV upload, and a video statement of purpose. Uh, we will explain that a bit later. Once you are selected in this first round, it takes about a week for us to get back to you. Um, and once you are given that information, we'll give you another week for you to be able to respond to a case study assignment. So you will have a choice. You will have two case studies and you will have to write on any one of them and you have time to think, research, and then write on your own and hopefully not with chat API. The questions will not allow you to answer them that way. And then the stage three is interview where you have an in-person uh, interview facing a panel which comprises of government officials, this faculty and others. Uh, and the project management unit. And uh, almost towards the end, we will be looking at the uh, application form, 
26 to, as I said, it takes about a week that you will get to understand the answer case study assignment, five days. And you have the panel interview, sometimes scheduled between 19 June to 24th June, and then the offer rollout by 30th June, you must be able to accept almost immediately. And you must be there in person for 1st August for the induction that will take place in Bhopal for seven days. And then immediately join the districts where you are placed. You will be given that. Um, the decision for which district you are placed in will be based on negotiation between the project team and your choice preferences. You may not necessarily get your choices, uh, but we will ask you for about 10 choices and see if we can accommodate it, but it is not necessary that you get the district of your choice. Uh, we are almost done. So I'm going to go back to the first point, what you would have in terms of networking opportunities, a launch pad, uh, you will have exposure to governance and you could look at career transition support uh, as you are charting out your fellowship through the two years with us. And hopefully we will have a community that continues to stay strong and connected and you know, contributing to this very important field through the years to come, not just the two years. So with that, the floor is open to questions and I will request Arindam to you know, kind of lead the, wag the baton in this sense, yes. Uh, yeah, all right. Uh, the ones who could not listen, I apologize. But, uh, you, can, you can please type or unmute yourself and try to ask your questions. Please raise hand and then uh, we will give you turns. You can type in your questions as well in the chat box. Anusha, am I audible? Yes, yes, you're audible. You're very much audible, Arindam. I was just saying that it is lovely to see uh, the kind of range that is coming in, but uh, also there are a couple of people who are pursuing their degrees. And uh, I hope you have thought about the fact that this will be a full-time in Bhopal position that starts from 1st August of 2023. Um, yes. Not at all, Sapna. Sapna has a good question mm -hmm. about video SOP, uh, you know, language. Not at all. I mean, uh, you can, can be... Go ahead. Go ahead. Nee, nee. Uh, as she said, you can talk in Hindi, you can talk in English. If you don't understand anything in English, please ask us to talk in Hindi. Uh, thank you, Vishal. Yes, Vishal, you are on mute. Yes, I'm 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 on mute. Yes, 16th July, as in of the current job. Uh, but you will have to be giving in. Yeah, sure. I don't think that should be a concern. Video, two minutes, one to two minutes. Uh, it doesn't have to be fancy. आप अपने Zoom call को start करके वहाँ पे record कर सकते हैं. आप अपने mobile पे see this. You know, you can record yourself. I'm sure you have done WhatsApp video messages, so you can record yourself. It doesn't have to be. Let me take this, Anusha. Let me take this. So the video, please don't get stressed with the video SOP at all. Video SOP में you need to put in the content well. आपके बैकग्राउंड में कोई नॉइज़ है, कोई 
there's some dog barking there's some calling bell ringing we don't care okay so we don't really bother about the video quality you know the quality of the video but what we are really looking for is the content aap kya bata rahe hain aap kya how much you are able to demonstrate about your vision your uh, readiness to take this fellowship ye hum hame chahiye all right so content matters all right so it doesn't really matter ki aapke piche background mein koi gana ga raha hai koi koi disturbance ho gaya kisi ne beech mein kuch bol diya koi baat nahi koi problem nahi video blur aa gaya not doesn't matter as long as aapka photo aapka aap aap acche se sahi se dikh rahe ho aap jo kehna cha rahe ho hum sun pa rahe hain that's it so please don't take stress about video sop you of course you prepare it and then you make it lekin uske quality i mean the quality of the video pe ya audio pe mat jaiye quality of the content pe jaiye nahi nahi audio pe jaiye kyunki as sunna hai lekin sunna of course as, as long as you are able to hear that's all okay i hope you understand that yes agar aapne suna jab main baat kar rahi thi to beech mein kutte piche se bhok rahe the aapne shayad suna hoga that will be okay oh that was you i thought someone else and i was asking them to do I am in this, and the dogs were barking downstairs. So, as Vishakha Ji is writing in the chat box, content matters more than the quality of the video. Till the time we are able to hear you clearly, okay? And we want to hear your stories, your, you know, what you want to share with us. You know, who we need to hear. Abhishek Ji, SOP, how to make it? This is all given in the details on the website. Pe. Take a look. हाँ हिमांशी प्लीज आप पूछिए सो मैम आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन दैट लाइक आई एम अ पर्सन हु लाइक ड्रॉप्ड आउट ऑफ सी ए इन द फाइनल ईयर एंड देन विद मेनी रियलाइजेशन आई केम टू द फील्ड ऑफ एजुकेशन कि मुझे इसमें काम करना है तो मैंने कई जगह यू नो एक्सप्लोर करके रह के वॉल्टियरिंग करके काम किया है बट आई डोंट हैव एनी लाइक काइंड ऑफ फॉर्मल सर्टिफिकेट्स फॉर दैम सो कैन आई ऑल्सो मैंशन दैम लाइक the institutes and the educators with whom i work worked yes you can mention certainly you can mention all we want is the basic requirement is undergraduation undergraduate undergraduate degree like a bachelor's degree with two years of work experience in the relevant domain uh and or a post graduate degree or diploma with one year of work experience nine so months as long as you mean nine months and 18 months nine months and 18 months sorry i mean we have revised it so it's yeah. now nine months and 18 months 18 months after ug and uh, nine months after pg as long as you are meeting that that's fine yes sir yes thank you so much Yeah. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Suresh, uh, written SOP is common. Any reason why video SOP has been adopted here? Arindam, you want to take that forward? <laughs> I'm going to uh, give a very light, I mean, a comment in a lighter vein. We will. We want to see you. आपको सुनना तो चाहेंगे ही आपके डिस्पोजिशन को भी देखना चाहेंगे नहीं आई थिंक काफी लोगों ने ये पूछा <coughs> ये सवाल किया है कि एस ओ पी वीडियो एस ओ पी में क्या होना चाहिए तो वीडियो एस ओ पी में इंस्ट्रक्शन और हमने जरूर वी हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन यू द गाइडलाइन फिर भी दोहराने के लिए बता रहे हैं कि यू विल हैव टू स्टेट आपको क्यों व्हाई डू व्हाई डू यू कम इन एज इन आप इसमें या एज विशाखा सिंह प्रॉम्स आर गिवन इन द वीडियो एस ओ पी 
बट आप यहाँ पे क्यों आना चाहते हैं आप क्यों इसमें काम करना चाहते हैं आपकी क्या रुचि है वॉट इज योर इंटरेस्ट वॉट इज योर पैशन दैट इज द प्राइमरी रीजन वाई वी आर यू नो आस्किंग अ स्टेटमेंट ऑफ पर्पज इज प्राइमरली टू से वाई आर यू इंटरेस्टेड इन डूइंग दिस और इसी और आप इस कहानी को जिस तरह से बताना चाहते हैं कहानियां बहुत तरीकों से बताई जाती हैं अपने बारे में आप बहुत तरीकों से समझा सकते हैं ये आप पे निर्भर है हाउ डू यू वांट टू स्ट्रक्चर एंड ओरिएंटेड अनदर रीजन देर आर पीपल हु आर आस्किंग कि थोड़ा लंबा खींच गया तो क्या होगा थोड़ा इज ओके दैट इज नॉट अ वरी इट इज अराउंड टू मिनट्स वी हैव गिवन लेकिन ये एक और चीज है जो uh, If you practice, you could think about कि how do you explain yourself to someone else in a shorter time. Video की quality इतनी important नहीं है That is the point that we were making. It is just about practicing and rehearsing and being able to speak. That's why. I think I can. Uh, I saw some hands raised. Yeah, yeah, Shibishra. yeah. Yes, go ahead. Abhishek, if you want to go, yeah, go ahead. गुड इवनिंग मैम मैं सर गुड इवनिंग मैं अवेलेबल हां जी यस यू आर जी सर मैं ये पूछना चाह रहा था कि सिलेक्शन के बाद में हम कितने समय तक जॉब में रहेंगे यानी ये मतलब 1 साल 2 साल की है कि जब तक चलेगा तब तक रहेगा टाइम ड्यूरेशन जानना चाह रहा था प्रोजेक्ट का यू मीन फेलोशिप के का टाइम पीरियड जी 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 ये दो साल है दो साल के लिए ये निपुण फेलोशिप ये दो साल के लिए है ये फर्स्ट अगस्त 2023 से शुरू होके 2025 जुलाई तक जाएगा इसके बाद में फिर आपको इसके बाद क्या कर सकते हैं ये पूछ रहे हैं Uh, इसके बाद हम उम्मीद रखते हैं कि आप इतने सक्षम रहें कि आप खुद कुछ और भी ढूंढे कोई और यू नो यू कैन फाइंड अनादर जॉब एंड यू कैन लुक एट कंट्रीब्यूटिंग टू द एजुकेशन सेक्टर इसमें बहुत सारी आपकी अपॉर्चुनिटीज जब आप ये दो साल काम कर रहे हैं तभी मिलेंगी लेकिन इसे सीमित है ये फेलोशिप है ये नौकरी नहीं है आपको इन दोनों में थोड़ा डिफरेंशिएट करना पड़ेगा या सो ये एक तरह का ये एक फेलोशिप है एक अपॉर्चुनिटी है कि आप गवर्नमेंट के साथ दो साल समय बिताएं और उसमें आपका एक पर्सनल लेवल पे ग्रोथ तो होगा ही यू नो यू गेट टू अंडरस्टैंड वेरियस वर्टिकल्स एट द सेम टाइम आप डिस्ट्रिक्ट एजुकेशन ऑफिसर के साथ तो काम करेंगे फील्ड को समझेंगे उसके साथ साथ आप भोपाल में गवर्नमेंट लेवल पे आर एस के साथ सी एस एफ के साथ जुड़कर काम करेंगे तो ये सारी अपॉर्चुनिटीज फ्यूचर के लिए खुलती ही है प्रोफेशनल लेवल पे एकेडमिक साइड में अगर आप देखें तो अगर आप फ्यूचर में मान लीजिए मास्टर्स करना जा चाहते हैं या पीएचडी करना चाहते हैं तो ऐसी ऐसे एक्सपीरियंस आगे काफ़ी काम आते हैं तीसरा अगर आप इसके साथ साथ अगर कुछ लिखना चाहें बहुत लोग हैं जो लिखते भी हैं लिखते हैं बोलते हैं उनके लिए एक बहुत ही एक सुवर्ण सुयोग कहते हैं ना गोल्डन अपॉर्चुनिटी वो है तो और ये वन ऑफ इट्स काइंड है पहले कभी ऐसे हमने नहीं देखा था कि इतने लार्ज स्केल पे इतने बड़े पैमाने पे अच्छे फेलोशिप के साथ फेलोशिप का अमाउंट भी बहुत अच्छा है क्योंकि हम चाहते हैं जो आए वो बड़े शिद्दत के साथ दो साल हमारे साथ बिताएं और कुछ सीख कर जाए और आप समझिए कि ये बावन सिर्फ नहीं है ये बावन इंटू 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 वो बावन प्रोफेशनल्स दो साल में एक बहुत ही बढ़िया बेहतरीन एजुकेशनल प्रोफेशनल बनेंगे और उनके संसर्ग में जो आएंगे वो मल्टीप्लाई होता जाएगा तो हम आगे का लॉन्ग टर्म सोच रहे हैं कि मान लीजिए आज से दस साल के बाद पंद्रह साल के बाद एक बढ़िया एक इन डेप्थ जिसका फील्ड एक्सपीरियंस हो जिसका रिसर्च एक्सपीरियंस हो जो पढ़े हुए हों जानकार हों वैसा एक कम्युनिटी तैयार हो तो वो लार्जर गोल को लेकर हम बढ़ रहे हैं 
साथ ही साथ हम तो चाहेंगे कि आप में से कुछ लोग जो सिलेक्टेड होंगे आप में से कुछ लोग इसको लेकर आगे बढ़े और रिसर्च में एजुकेशन रिसर्च में कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट करें और खास करके सब्जेक्ट एजुकेशन रिसर्च में मान लीजिए कोई लैंग्वेज एजुकेशन में काम करना चाहे मैथमेटिक्स एजुकेशन में काम करना चाहे साइंस सोशल साइंस और अदर पैरामीटर्स नो अदर एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ एजुकेशन रिसर्च में काम करना चाहिए उनके लिए तो ये बेहतरीन अपॉर्चुनिटी है तो ये इस तरह के बहुत सारे चीजें पहलू अपने आप उभर कर भी सामने आएंगे जो शायद हमें भी दिख भी नहीं रहा मिनी मिनी अपॉर्चुनिटीज में अनफोल्ड सॉरी लॉस्ट वीडियो अनुषा एम आई ऑडिबल Yes, you are. You are audible. Okay. Abhishek ji, so, आप 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 में से एक्चुअली ये हाँ ये फेलोशिप के तौर पे सोचा जा रहा है आप में से बहुत सारे जो सवाल पूछ रहे हैं आप प्लीज ये साइट पे जाएं और इस साइट में भी बहुत सारे आप अगर यहाँ पे देखें यू नो राइट साइड पे आपको दिखेगा कि देर इज होम अबाउट द प्रोग्राम अप्लाई एफ ए क्यूज और अगर आप फ्रीक्वेंटली आज क्वेश्चन पे जाए तो आपकी एलिजिबिलिटी क्या है क्या आपको इंडियन सिटीजन रहना अनिवार्य है इसमें ऐसे बहुत सारे सवालों के जवाब आपको मिलेंगे जैसे आपकी क्वेश्चन वगैरह हैं जो भाषा के प्रति जैसे आपने बोला कि इज इट समथिंग दैट आई नीड टू नो इज लैंग्वेज पॉइंट टू बी अ बैरियर द वर्क विल बी एट टू लेवल्स आपको हिंदी बहुत बेहतरीन आनी चाहिए यू नीड टू नो हिंदी बिकॉज यू आर वर्किंग इन मध्य प्रदेश ऑल गवर्नमेंट सर्कुलर्स ऑर्डर्स ऑल मेटीरियल्स आर इन हिंदी द स्कूल्स वी आर वर्किंग विद आर गवर्नमेंट स्कूल दे आर ऑल रन एज हिंदी मीडियम स्कूल the language that the state has the students have is hindi all these circular uh, as all government notings letters etc everything is written in hindi and at the same time you will also be working with the state and with uh, you know other national building partners um, for instance you're working with the ngos that are there you're working with this and you need to be able to also put your ideas across in english to be able to state ideas and consume thought and be able to present it in english to aapko english bhi aani chahiye lekin proficiency ke taur pe hum zarur chahenge ki aap hindi se zarur waqif rahe aur aisa nahi hai ki hum log seekh nahi sakte but you must know written and spoken hindi you must know written and spoken english and so those are questions and so that same thing applies in there and some of these questions like when is your period of two, two, two years etc comes in sorry uh, please do ask questions uh, um i'm a teacher i'll never stop talking isliye hindi na janna ho sakta hai barrier ho ha hindi ek hindi janna bolna likhna padhna teenon mein dakshata you know hum chahenge ki aap daksh ho padhne likhne aur bolne mein और ये एक अनिवार्य अनिवार्य मुद्दा रहेगा जिसे अर्हता कहते हैं ना एलिजिबिलिटी वो रहेगा मोनिका जी बिल्कुल आपका सवाल है कि अगर आपकी आपका कोई एक्सपीरियंस ना हो एजुकेशन के दायरे में तो क्या आप अप्लाई कर सकती हैं बिल्कुल कर सकती हैं अगर आपके पास वो नौ महीने अगर यूजी के बाद अट्ठारह महीने या पीजी के बाद नौ महीने का एक्सपीरियंस है जरूरी नहीं है कोई एजुकेशन नहीं हो एजुकेशन में हो तो अच्छी बात है ना भी हो तो भी कोई बात नहीं आप अप्लाई कर सकते हैं आप एलिजिबल है और क्या सवाल है रिटर्न एस पे हमने बताया विशाखा जी ने भी कहा विशाखा जी ने देखिए आप ई भी दिया है इन्फो एट एम पी उस पर आप लिख सकते हैं अगर कोई सवाल हो आरिफ जी का सवाल है आफ्टर कंप्लीशन ऑफ राउंड वन विल द शॉर्ट लिस्टेड शॉर्ट लिस्टिंग स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द राउंड वन इट सेल्फ व्हाट यू मीन बेटा अरे राउंड वन के बाद जो शॉर्ट लिस्टेड होंगे उन्हें इतला किया जाएगा उन्हें इंटीमेट किया जाएगा और वो वेबसाइट पे होगा और वो वो चयनित लोग ही राउंड टू में पहुंचेंगे आप क्या ये पूछ रहे थे कि आप कुछ और पूछ रहे थे नहीं नहीं ही वाज आस्किंग दैट वेदर इट विल गेट एलिमिनेटेड प्लीज रिमेंबर टू कीप चेकिंग द वेबसाइट 
मैं फिर से डेट्स की टाइमलाइन बता देती हूँ द डेट टाइम लाइन आर दीज योर एप्लीकेशन फॉर्म इज फ्रॉम फर्स्ट मे टू ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट मे यानी कि ये संडे रात के बारह बजे के पहले एक्चुअली इलेवन फिफ्टी नाइन पी एम उसके पहले आप प्लीज भर दें फॉर्म कंप्लीट कर दें अगर आपकी फॉर्म्स इनकम्प्लीट हैं तो के स्टडी असाइनमेंट आपको ट्वेंटी सिक्स मे को या ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ मे को मेल किया जाएगा जनरली यू विल गेट इट ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स और छब्बीस तारीख को मे में ही जब आपको मिलेगा आपको इकतीस तारीख तक उसे देना है आपको एक वीकेंड जरूर मिलता है काम करने के लिए अगर आप काम कर रहे हैं एंड यू सिंग आई डोंट हैव टाइम वीकेंड इज ऑल्सो दे और उसके बाद आपको इतला की जाएगी कि अगर आप पैनल इंटरव्यू के लिए सिलेक्ट हुए हैं तो वो इंटरव्यूज जो रहेंगी भोपाल में रहेंगी और नाइनटीन जून से लेके ट्वेंटी फोर्थ जून तक रहेंगी Uh, उसमें स्लॉट्स दिए जाएंगे आपको आपको वो स्लॉट्स चुनने हैं अगर कोई स्लॉट खाली नहीं है तो आपको उन्हीं स्लॉट को लेना पड़ेगा जो खाली है ये पासपोर्ट सेवा केंद्र जैसा ही रहेगा इन दैट सेंस और फिर हम आपको इतला कर देंगे जून के एंड तक कि आपको ऑफर मिला है कि नहीं क्योंकि फिर अगर आपको एक हफ एक महीने की अगर नोटिस पीरियड कुछ निभानी पड़े तो यू हैव दैट टाइम बिकॉज वी विल स्टार्ट द इंडक्शन ऑन द ग्राउंड इन भोपाल ऑन फर्स्ट ऑगस्ट सो आई होप दिस इज और ये इंटरव्यूज जो 19 जून से इंटरव्यूज है वो भी इन पर्सन है ऑनलाइन नहीं है आपको आना पड़ेगा भोपाल आना पड़ेगा भोपाल में ही इंटरव्यू होगा फेस टू फेस इंटरव्यू होगा और इसमें भी कोई रियायत नहीं बरती जा सकती जीवन when we are going to complete or when we are halfway or midway through this fellow well we will have as anusha uh, was mentioning we will have uh, this runs short term courses for you uh, which will be offered to all the nipun professionals free of cost then there will be on a quarterly basis we will have uh, you know meetings and uh, uh, basically development programs for the professionals and uh, this two years we are presuming that we will have a not presuming actually we are going to have a community of practice build a network not just among the 52 but also uh, you know csk which will be anchoring this from bhopal test will be anchoring it from bombay and we will always be const- constantly in touch and that will certainly be a learning experience you know along with the course and the very fact that you are gaining and understanding field what field means what it takes to do work on the field i think that's immense experience in itself you know? and uh, imagine you know for two years you'll be constantly densely available on the field on the gro- ground meeting discussing interacting with various verticals parents teachers district officials education officials also at the you know the uh, center which is bhopal That's that in itself is an experience, right? Anusha, if you if you would like to 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 add something. No, uh, I have just just pointed out these slides just for you to look at. But if you had any questions, please do ask. As in, if that was not satisfactory, you can just clarify. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, the second yeah. part, yeah, the second part was pretty clear. But my question was that someone who is coming to this uh, fellowship might be a mm-hmm. teacher. Someone might be a data analyst. someone might be working in marketing so you are seeing a very diverse set of people coming in so right. how to, how are you making sure that all these people are working for a common goal because my working style is completely different and i am suddenly coming to a government structure working on very uh, niche districts and jilla panchayat level so how this uh, how does this module go how does the training for this uh, comes into picture because i might have a very 
clear goal that I want to and a, a working style. True. Yeah. So my answer are three things. One, uh, I, unless Arindam wants to take that, I'll just start very briefly. One is uh, even during the interview, we are. It is, it is about understanding your attitude and aptitude to work with the system. We are hoping that by choosing to apply, there is an interest and an inherent interest in wanting to understand how the system of the government works and wanting to work with this to be able to make a difference, right? I mean, everyone is here to understand and do the best that they can for it. That's one. Given that passion is common, then we start by setting up, and that is where this first seven days of program induction comes in. And it is not just about the fact that ki aapko bataya jayega ki FLN kya hai. It's not just about what is FLN or anything of that sort. It is about the fact of what is the education landscape, which is very specific to Madhya Pradesh. How is the government functioning in that state, especially in the district? And it is not that we let you lose and just say, acha, work on your own. It is not that. Every month, uh, not only every month, you are going to be even within the seven days, which is very immersive and very intense, uh, you will be then towards the end grouped into, say, 10 to 12 group members who will be mentored by someone in the project management unit. So there are about five, six members who will be there uh, who may be situated in Bhopal, but they will be doing some check-ins with you. And they are there to guide and support. And we are all there as well in that community of practice as well. And so... As you come across a, a problem or you're like, I don't know how to solve this. I'm working in this style. They don't seem to understand. Or I don't know why this is happening. And, you know, ye, um, is system kyo is se ho hai? that's exactly what we are here to enable you to understand and support and learn. And it may be that when you bring in your data analysis or someone else brings in their, uh, you know, uh, storytelling method, maybe they're a storyteller. and that these are able to infuse in the system an energy of different kinds. Education is an interdisciplinary subject and that it, it, is, it, it, it is not only, um, it's, it's not just that we hope, it is that we expect that people will be from diverse backgrounds and that that will bring a kind of energy to the system a questioning of the system to enable it to improve. So that's why we have the monthly learning circles, uh, which will also be very systematic. So they will be from practitioners. Uh, they will be from people who have worked on the ground. They will be from government functionaries as well. So you will be interacting with government functionaries where you can ask them, Ki aisa kyun hota hai? Or, what is a learning, what is a working style that really works? You are expected to move with different stakeholders and be able to interact with them and learn with them, learn from them, and hopefully also perhaps inspire them to learn from you certain skills and things. So that really is something that we are hoping to. Plus, there will be co-led quarterly visits and so on. So it's not going to be a one-time process and, oh, yeah, and then you're like, no, it's going to be a continuous learning process. Uh, sorry, Anisha, I'm going yes. to cut you short here. Um, so, Mayank Ji, because your question was a bit broad and also important for others to also understand. Look, we celebrate diversity. More that more diverse you are, more richer would be the group. You see, and since you are applying, and if if someone makes it to the you know to becoming a professional there, must be having an interest in the field, isn't it? Even if you are making a switch. And we respect, we want people to come to this fold and make informed career transitions. And this is an opportunity of career transition for those people who may be coming from, as you said, say data analysts or some, or, or from different other backgrounds. That's fine. In fact, we would be bringing in lots of richer and diverse experience from those fields in applicable in the domain of education. So we would more, 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 we would be more than happy to have people from diverse backgrounds, and we are sure because we are actually preparing those kinds of modules at from this end, which will be offered to the professionals, keeping these diversities in mind. Yeah. 
please do visit the website once again and look through the nitty gritties. Uh, more more details are are available there. Himanshi, please go ahead. And uh, we don't have much time left, so we'll have to be a little more crisp in our questions and responses. Himanshi, yes? Uh, yes, sir. This time I don't have a question, but I personally want to say thank you so much for creating such a beautiful opportunity. I am emotionally feeling so much happy. Just thank you. Well, I think thanks uh, should go to Vishakha and her team in CS. Uh, CSF and RSK in Bhopal. They are the ones who thought of it and then invited us this and we became the knowledge partners. So Vishakhaji and CSF should be, uh, I mean, we are grateful for them to and RSK. this. And RSK, of course. Uh, for those who are asking why the work experience should not be related in the field of education, um, Suresh, thanks for raising the question. Just very quickly, it's about your ability to cope with working conditions and having not having unrealistic estimations, which is why post graduation there is almost 18 months requirement and post post graduation there is the other uh, nine months requirements also about the maturity that working with someone reporting to someone being reported to by someone brings in a sense that is why. There is this requirement, not about the fact that freshers nahi apply because it's it's the demand. The demand is that you will be at the district level. You're not working at the school level. And that is why that is why we are looking at it. Some of the districts in MP also, are very huge. Yeah, and Anusha, let me handle this. Uh, look, uh, Suresh ji, uh, you know, the fellowship amount is That, uh, I mean, that kind of an amount, you would expect someone to be coming with more experience, isn't it? But we are not asking for more experience. But we want bare minimum at least, you know, to make to be able to make that contribution. We definitely want young professionals because we know we would be able to create a pool of very very capable professionals after two years. All right. So we want people who are young, dynamic, energetic, and willing to contribute. All right. And we want to take them to that level. You see, otherwise, 80,000 rupees is a lot. And you don't really get that for you know, this kind of bare minimum experience. And we really value that. You know, we really value energetic, dynamism, young professionals to come and make a contribution, make a mark in the field. So in short, that's my answer. Any other question? There, I'm just scrolling. There isn't any that we have left unanswered. So I think we can find that. We'll just repeat 21st May is the last date, and we do need the video SOP. Um, and hope to hopefully see you all in the next round. All the very best. All the best, and please also spread word. Uh, among your acquaintances, among your people you know who fits in in this eligibility criteria. Uh, please spread the word. I know this is quite unique. In fact, some of them, I'm sure to believe some uh, people from Bihar approached me saying that, is it really true? Asi hazar rupe? For what? So, I mean, because it's unheard of, very, very, and the first of its kind. So people are also a bit amazed, perhaps. He's saying, me. As, is it really true? You know, so may, please make, if you are able to, please uh, inform others that yes, it's really true. And we must make these kinds of ventures, which is already available in many other countries. You know, why should we? Let's dream big and let's make it happen. So, yes. all the best to all of you. And uh, yes, so we hope to see some of you at least. Thank you so much for joining and taking time out. Thank you. And it was lovely to see people from IFLU and others join in. Thank you. Bye. Bye.